Judge Penny Askerid on Friday, June 24th, filed a judgment order reflecting the verdict previously reached in the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial. On June 1st, a Virginia jury ruled Amber defamed her former husband Depp, bringing an end to the widely watched six-week trial. Following the recent confirmation of the ruling, a source close to the court reported that the judge entered Depp's version of the verdict on paper in its entirety, rejecting all of Amber's proposed edits. Why did the judge do this? And what were Amber's demands? Let's find out. Attorneys for Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were unable to reach a last-minute settlement, setting the stage for what could be a lengthy and costly appeal process. A representative for Amber indicated she plans to appeal the verdict. She has 30 days to file a notice of appeal. Judge Penny Askrid, who presided over the six-week trial in Fairfax County, Virginia, didn't enter the jury verdict into the docket immediately. Instead, she said Depp and Amber had until June 24th to come up with a settlement, which she would enter instead of the verdict. If they failed to reach a settlement, the jury verdict would stand. As it turned out, the duo didn't strike an agreement, and the requests made by Amber's team were so outrageous the judge ruled them out without further consideration. At the confirmation of the verdict hearing, lawyers for the two celebrities told the judge that no settlement had been reached. Askerit entered the jury verdict into the docket, making it official. Her order also said that the amount owed by each party was subject to a 6% annual interest rate. In accordance with Virginia law, neither Depp nor Amber was present in the courthouse. Following the hearing, a spokesperson for the London Fields actress issued a statement to reporters that referred to Republican members of Congress asking for pardons amid their attempts to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. As stated in yesterday's congressional hearings, you don't ask for a pardon if you are innocent, the spokesperson said, and you don't decline to appeal if you know you are right. In an exhibit attached to Ascrit's order, Depp's attorneys objected the $2 million judgment against them, leaving open the possibility he may appeal that portion of the verdict. Benjamin Chu, an attorney representing Depp, hinted at the possibility of a settlement in an interview with the Good Morning America host, George Stephanopoulos, shortly after the trial. He said Depp might agree to waive the monetary damages in return for the actress promising not to appeal the verdict. After the trial had concluded, Depp won all three of his claims against his ex-wife, whereas Amber won just one. Experts concluded that the 36-year-old Texas native lost her defamation case because she didn't come off as credible and lacked her ex-husband's star power. Depp took Amber to trial, claiming she ruined his reputation by insinuating in a 2018 Washington Post op-ed that she had been the victim of domestic abuse. The Machete Kill star countersued and spent several days on the stand describing multiple incidents where she said Depp physically and sexually assaulted her during the relationship. Experts also believe Amber lost because she lied and she exaggerated in a case that was all about likability and credibility. Depp, on the other hand, was a much more likable and credible witness. The jurors loved him, the public loved him, and everyone on social media loved him. And now Amber Heard is one of the most despised women in America. Instead of being the face of the hashtag MeToo movement, she's the face of a false accusation. Could that be part of the reason why the judges didn't want her second opinion on the ruling? Let us know in the comments below. In our upcoming videos, we'll be bringing you more of such amazing content, so be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't get to miss any of them.